So what is up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Movement6 and to all you guys who have subbed this week, thank you very much, I really appreciate it and if you haven't subbed yet, smack that button, put on the notifications and hit the like button and leave some comments guys, leave some comments. Um, today we're going to discuss the Terminator franchise and why it needs to take a pause for the cause. But for now, I'll be back. So, Terminator Dark Fate. It has a dark fate, right? It, it failed miserably. And rightfully so. It, it, people who actually know the franchise a bit and grew up with it knew that this was not going to end well in general. Because if we want to understand where we are with Terminator, but also if we want to understand... What is happening in gaming now? Because you can't seem to put on a game, um, and you get Terminator coming passing by, you know. But that uh, that's worrying, right? But let's travel back in time <clears throat> to the '80s. Let's travel by back to the time when Terminator One came out. Terminator One was a groundbreaking, epic movie that still to date can be considered as one of the best, if not the best, science fiction movie ever made. And that's not because it doesn't have flaws. If you would be born in the last 20 years and you would, you've never seen Terminator 1, you fire it up, you maybe laugh your balls off. You, you could. Because, you know, in terms of storytelling, how it's presented, but also the CGI, it's, of course, it's appalling in, to nowadays standards. But the game created the, 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 the movie created the stir in, in, in the market, right? It was groundbreaking. It set the tone for future science fiction movies. It, the saga, the universe, and the way it's being crafted by James Cameron, uh, who was a upcoming director, and you had Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was an upcoming actor trying to make a name for himself. There was hardly any budget. Right? There was hardly any, but there were times that just James and, and Arnold would, went out to the street and just film with the two of them because there was no budget anymore. And the film just, the fans immediately demanded a second part. Terminator T2, right, came out. And these are one of those rare sequels that not only live up to what people want to see, but also exceeds that. It, to me, it's still the best sequel ever made uh, following up a, a, a groundbreaking new movie, right? So if you look at T2 and T1, there was a sense of why, this movie, why these movies were so good is because we had a robot, a Terminator, that acted like a robot. It just had one goal, and that is to destroy. And it just... No spoilers here, but it's a straight line, right? And 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 the robot takes a straight line. It doesn't stop for anything. It just continues. And that was what making this these movies so good, right? And even in T2, when Arnold took a bit of a different role as a robot who was reprogrammed, he still had that sense of robotic way of behavior. And... It was a very raw, dark movie. And even John Connor was played by a little boy. Was an awesome dude, you know. It, what he, everything, this movie, the actors, the story, the universe, it expanded upon. The actors itself were absolutely great and fantastic, right? Even the new Liquid Terminator was great. The CGI was groundbreaking for that time. It made a quantum leap forward. So T1 and T2 were among the best movies science fictionally speaking, ever made, right? And then you you come into a phase where movies are not being made because of, it. well, what fans want, that it needs to be good. But T3 was just made to pour money at it. And we got one of the most appalling movies ever made, right? We had a Terminator that could blow up her own tits. We had a John Connor who, for some weird reason, turned into a sissy overnight. Because in 2-2, he was a kid, but he was a badass kid. In 2-T3, 
he was, I don't know, he, he's not believable. Not one second to throughout the movie did I saw an enhanced, a grown-up guy that I saw in T2. Absolutely not. So T3 should have never been made. Absolutely not. And then it took a pause. And then out of nowhere came Terminator Salvation. Now, I'm going to be a very unpopular dude here. I actually liked Terminator Salvation. And the reason is quite simple. Terminator Salvation took a different approach than T1, 2, and 3. It did something different, right? It went into the future and told the story right before T1. And that to me was finally a different and fresh approach. Yes, we can go round for round and clip for clip in terms of the quality of the movie and, and all the other things in terms of the timeline, but it, it was good in that sense that it did something different than T1, T2, and T3. T3 really showed that the, 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 the what has been told had some level of fatigueness in there, right? T1, great. T2, great. T3, bullshit. Now, Terminator Salvation was made, it flopped a bit, fine, and then it took finally the, the pause it really needed, right? Just let it sit there. And then, out of nowhere, they started to create Terminator Genesis. And Terminator Genesis prom promised a few things. It promised, one, to relive the atmosphere of one and two. It promised to add new things to the timeline. So it was highly interesting. But it didn't do anything of that. It didn't live up to one or two. And it more or less fucked up the entire program, right? The entire program of the timeline has been completely effed up. On the other side, Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, also turned into a sissy. So it seems that like John Connor in T3 and now our dear friend Arnold, they turned into a sissy. They've been reprogrammed. Arnold was reprogrammed to act like a sissy. And in 2, he was also trying to mimic sometimes human characteristics but in <laughs> in terminated genesis he's not mimicking he's just acting like some old dude that has some kind of a personality issue so there was to me genesis can be quickly forgotten and now dark fate comes out right and now they really screw up the entire program and with even with james cameron on board he put up his middle finger to his own timeline, and in the very first opening scene, it was a horrible opening scene, CGI-wise for, for nowadays standards, they killed John Connor. Holy shit, why? You know, at that moment, I already wanted to turn off the entire the, the, the movie, you know? Screw that. And now that it has been, well, now it failed at the box office. Here you go, it failed. And why? I don't even, I don't even, I don't even give a an F why, you know, whether it's social justice warrior type of topics that are being introduced, the lack of originality in this movie. I don't, I don't really, I don't really give a shit. It just, you know, Terminator as a franchise, they need to leave it alone for a really long time. And either they are able to live up to one and two or stop with it entirely. It's already now a question whether they're going to bring out the last one they want to do in these three Genesis, Dark Fade, and another one. And I think it's not even going to happen. And now, what does this franchise does? They turn to games. And for some games, I do understand that it's funny, like Mortal Kombat, for example. But if I... Turn on Mortal Kombat, Terminator. I turn on Gears, Terminator. And now this shit comes out. Why? You know, why? It's, it's, so, well, why? You know, it's, it's so obvious oh, we're dying, we need money, who can give us money to give Terminator a place? That's the whole, they're just milking it out. And they should really stop doing this, you know. And if you connect to one game, for example, Mortal Kombat, I could understand the working of Mortal Kombat and Terminator. 
just like in Mortal Kombat 10, we saw Jason or, uh, you know, those type of characters. And now we see the Joker. I, I do see that funny gimmick uh, introduced in Mortal Kombat. You know, that, that's something that Mortal Kombat has always done. And Terminator has some good aspects of making that work in terms of fatalities and gameplay. Fine. But introducing it in Gears and in Breakpoint, Jesus freaking Christ, you know, it's so freaking obvious that they want to make up for all the losses that they're making right now. And to me, James Cameron has sold his soul to the devil with, with, with something that he invented about 30 years ago. One of the best science fiction movies ever made. One of the best universes ever created in terms of timeline and, and, and storytelling. CGI, groundbreaking, and now he's selling his soul to the devil in terms of just making up for the budgets and the losses. It's, it's horrible, guys. And to me, they need to take a pause for the cause. In, in that sense, Terminator needs to chill out, stop working with Terminator at all right now. And that means that we will never see Terminator again, maybe, because eventually Arnold is getting too old for that shit. <laughs> And, and that means that we will never see Terminator. But I'd rather see, don't see a Terminator than a program that is effed up like this. What do you think? What do you think? You, you've, you know, you're the best community in the world. You're joining the Movement 6 community. I want to hear what you guys think of this topic. Because I'm fed up with Terminator. I'm fed up with, with putting on games and then seeing Terminator passing by. It's done. It's over. Okay. So let's let's move the F on. Maybe you do want to see other uh, characters being introduced in Mortal Kombat, right? And there are so many characters out there. What do you would like to see introduced in the Mortal Kombat realm? Now, guys, I will be back soon with you guys. Um, I just yesterday I spoke to a few people online, and we're going to do some Titanfall again. Um, I'm I'm really enjoying Titanfall in general. So uh, I'll be back soon with some Titanfall gameplay. For now, this was Movement Six. Out back to the mat.